Oh, hey guys. How you doing today? I'm going over some footage that I'm trying to get edited about the trip to Asia. And as I was going through my SSD, I realized that there was some footage that I shot just before Christmas when I had a bit of an accident. I thought I'd put this video out. I hadn't. So I wanted to go back and finish that off. Put out some information about how not to go over a speed bump. And the fact that speed bumps just suck in general. Anyway, let's take a look at the footage and then we'll talk about what I did wrong and what I've done to adjust to make sure that this doesn't happen again. So a couple of points before we get into what I did wrong. First, at this point in time, I did not have a lot of miles in the saddle on the Sporty. So I was still having to process a lot of information on every scenario I encountered while riding. Second, I'd been traveling for work a lot during the six weeks prior to this, so I didn't have much recent time on the bike. I was a little rusty. On this day, it was lunchtime, and I just wanted a sandwich from Subway. As I neared the speed bump, I started to slow down and applied too much brake before my brain registered that this speed bump might be too high for my bike's clearance. Then said, uh, dude, this could be too slow. So I started to think about how to correct for that and before the corrective action registered, I was on the speed bump. The bump was high enough that the frame of the bike stuck to the top of the bump and well, you can see what happened. All I had to do was blip the throttle before I hit that speed bump and everything would have been okay. But without enough past experience and repetition, I didn't have the muscle memory program to deal with this scenario and my brain was just processing stuff too slow. Luckily for me, I rolled with the fall and the only damage to the bike was a little yellow paint on the elbow of the mirror, which I was able to get off easily enough. I don't know about you, but I hate speed bumps. I don't know why they're allowed to put those things down without open sections for bikes. It's just nuts. I avoid them as much as possible, but I've had enough experience at this point where I don't have to think so much when I have to deal with one. If I think it's too high for the sporty, I go another way. Otherwise, blipping that throttle is automatic now. So there you go. Speed bumps suck. I hate them. You hate them. Don't forget to maintain your speed, blip the throttle going over. You won't have the problem Percy had and everybody will be happy. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Get out there and ride. Peace.